welcome to our first episode of Solid Ground, Faith and Family. In this series, we're going to be taking a look at the Catechism. What a great gift the Catechism is. Now, oftentimes we think of the Catechism, and within the Lutheran Church, we think about Luther's small catechism. Now, Luther himself was merely moving with the flow of the development of the Catechism. The Catechism, when Luther talks about it, was something that existed far before, well before his time. He codified it, he adjusted it, he developed that wonderful question and answer approach to it, but the Catechism has been around since the early church. The emphasis on teaching those foundational doctrines of God's law and the Ten Commandments, the Creed and the Apostles' Creed and the Lord's Prayer, and more broadly, how to pray. Those have been foundational since the beginning. And over the next few months, we're going to be walking through some of those parts. We're not going to do the full six chief parts of the Catechism, but we're going to take a shot at a good chunk of this stuff. And, you know, you might wonder a little bit, well, why do we need to come back to this? You know, hey, I was confirmed <laughs> many years ago. I, I know this stuff. Can I get on to something uh, a little meatier, a little deeper? Luther's approach to the Catechism was always returning, always coming back. Luther understood and emphasized the need for all of us to not just learn and move on to something bigger and better in the Catechism, but to continually be coming back. That was part of his practice. He wrote his small Catechism as a tool for the family to use so that the head of the household could spend time asking questions and hearing answers returned. The term catechesis, coming from the Greek term katecheo, which does mean simply to echo back, is a pedagogical method by which we learn through an element of repetition where we're hearing the same question and we're coming back again and again to the same answers for the purpose of making sure that those answers penetrate the heart as well as the mind. That we're able to, in a deep way, as we grow and mature in the faith, to grow and mature in our understanding of the varying parts of God's law and how we pray to Him and the foundational doctrinal content that the historic Christian church has held so dear. So join me on this adventure as we walk through the Catechism together as we explore God's solid ground.